Hello everybody, I'm Ricky Smith. Welcome to Faith on Fifth Friday. There was a time when black travelers in the U.S. faced major problems. White supremacists had long sought to restrict black mobility. A black motorist was seen as uppity or too prosperous, and a simple road trip was filled with fear and anxiety. Racial profiling by police, arbitrary arrests, harassment by white motorists, sundowner towns, and in some cases, physical harm or death. But in 1936, a New York City mailman named Victor Hugo Green published the first Negro Motorist Green Book Travel Guide, later became known as the Green Book. The Green Book became the Bible for black travel during the Jim Crow era, a time when open and often legally prescribed discrimination was widespread. The Green Book helped travelers find hotels, restaurants, gas stations, tourist attractions, and any other business that was willing to cater to a black clientele. Originally, the publication was set for the New York City area, but later, Mr. Green expanded the publication to include much of North America, as well as parts of Canada, Mexico, the Caribbean, and Bermuda. With the passing of the Civil Rights Act of 1964, which outlawed the types of racial discrimination that made the Green Book necessary, the Green Book stopped publication. The last one was published in 1966. Recently, with the advent and popularity of all things black history, a 1941 copy of the Green Book was sold at auction for over $22,000. Today, for the most part, African Americans don't need the Green Book to find a safe haven while they're on the road. But knowing your history helps you appreciate your present and look forward to a brighter future. Victor Hugo Green did just that. Thank you everybody for watching and thank you so much for sharing the video. If you haven't already, subscribe to our YouTube channel, give us a thumbs up and leave us a comment. My name is Ricky Smith, and I'll see you next Friday.